Mark Riccadonna, everybody. Guys, I bought something today on Black Amazon, and <laughs> it said three to five business days for shipping, <laughs> but I'm pretty sure uh, there's no Black Amazon. Uh, so, wow. All right, good. <laughs> I didn't even debate whether that was gonna go over good or bad, so. Uh, <laughs> it's good, yeah, uh, I live in New York now. Uh, I got here the other day on a mega bus, which means things are going well. Uh, about as good as that first joke. And uh, I, uh, I'm not for sure if you're familiar with mega bus, but it's a discounted bus line, which doesn't make sense. It seems like a lot of words to describe a bus line. We get it, it's a bus. I looked it up though, uh, you can get from Atlanta, which is here, uh, all the way to Los Angeles where they got Hollywood. <laughs> One way on the mega bus, no joke, 20 bucks. It's true. It takes 79 days, uh, but that <laughs> is worth it to me. I got nowhere to be. Uh, <laughs> and that's like 12 years in bus years. I'm not exactly sure what. <laughs> The conversion is, but uh, it's kind of like dog years, but you feel like less of a person on a bus. Uh, <laughs> smells the same. I don't know. Kind of had a bad year uh, towards the end of last year. Uh, I found out I was diagnosed with what's called uh, a turl fibrillation in my heart, uh, or AFib if you're cool. And uh, <laughs> I don't know, it's like uh, my heart just randomly goes crazy for no reason. The best way I could describe it is. Uh, every time I uh, go to bed, I feel like I have a, just a bad jazz band playing in my chest. Like that's just Don't sleep. Like it's one of those really bad <laughs> situations. But in uh, December of last year, uh, I thought I was having a heart attack. Like that's what it felt like. It felt like a heart attack. So I did what anyone would do when you have a heart attack or you feel like you have an heart attack. You just drive it off for a little bit until... Uh, <laughs> just in the general direction of a hospital. Uh, <laughs> but I go into the emergency room because it's like, this, it's going on for a long time, so I gotta go in. And they take it seriously. They take heart problems very seriously uh, in the hospital. So I went right into the emergency room and I was just jacked up with all these IVs and nurses all over me. And in that situation, a doctor just gives you information. They're just very to the point. And sometimes it can be scary because you're just giving you facts and you're like, I don't know what's going on. This is terrifying. If I had a normal doctor, this is what they would have said. Mike, your heart's not working properly. We're gonna give you some medicine. And if that doesn't work, we're gonna have to put the paddles to your chest like you see on TV and uh, give you a new heart rhythm. And you'd be like, oh, I don't, okay. That's kind of freaking me out, but let's do this. Uh, my doctor was from New Zealand, so I had a cartoon character taking care of me. <laughs> I don't know if you ever met somebody from New Zealand, but nothing they say sounds bad. It all sounds like a party out of their mouths. <laughs> Because this is what happened. The doctor comes in wearing a polo tucked into dad jeans. No belt. I don't know what was holding those pants up. <laughs> Takes one second of my chart, looks at me, goes, hey, your hat's not working. <laughs> I was like, oh, hell yeah. What's going on? <laughs> he goes, yeah, if it doesn't start working soon, we're going to have to shock you. <laughs> cool, cool. Let's do this. What's up? <laughs> Can we do that now? Can we do that now? Nothing bad can come out of those people's mouths. It's always good news. Yeah, I heard you wife's cheating on ya. Yeah, she's been busy. She's been real busy lately. Yeah, I heard she's sleeping with a lot of dudes. You banging my wife, man? Is that you? Yeah. <laughs> I am. <laughs> All right, cool, man. Let's go. Uh, you want the house? Let's get out of here. And I feel like doctors are doing a lot of cool things, though. Uh, the one thing that doctors don't do well, in my opinion, is name anything. They're not marketers. They're doctors, and they're good at it. They shouldn't be naming things. Leave that up to marketers or namers or whatever those people are called. This is a quick example. Uh, the Plan B medicine, the morning after pill. Right, ladies? <laughs> think they named it wrong. My opinion, they should call it Plan A. I think that would be a more appropriate... <laughs> Or that's the plan, I think would be a much <laughs> better. Because plan B for me has always been raising the kid. And I don't know if that's necessarily, <laughs> you can name it. All right, you guys have been great. My name is Mike Albanese. Thank you so much. Have a good show.